An estranged grandfather? No contact with their cousins? A grandma they'll never meet? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children Archie and Lilibet might be royal, but they've also been through a lot. After Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left the royal family, they sat down for a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they discussed life behind the palace walls. In the 2021 interview, the couple made some shocking claims. One thing that really raised viewers' eyebrows was Meghan's allegation that some royal family members had made some negative comments about Prince Archie's skin colour. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Meghan also seemed to insinuate that because Archie is biracial, the palace denied him a title. So we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title. When asked to name who made the comments about Archie's skin colour, neither Harry nor Meghan was forthcoming, saying it would cause a lot of damage. Harry did, however, tell Winfrey that neither Queen Elizabeth II nor Prince Philip made the aforementioned remarks about Archie's skin colour. It's worth noting that Archie did receive a royal title after King Charles III ascended the throne. Prince Archie's first few years were anything but easy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry went through an incredibly stressful time before and after Archie's birth. During the Oprah Winfrey interview, Meghan shared that she had suicidal thoughts while she was pregnant with Archie, but that she wasn't allowed to get the help she needed. And I, I just didn't... I just didn't want to be alive anymore. When Archie was still a baby, Meghan and Harry embarked on a royal tour. While the family was in South Africa, a heater in Archie's room caught fire. Luckily, he was downstairs with his nanny at the time. Meghan was understandably shaken, but revealed on the first episode of her Archetypes podcast that she had to simply continue with royal engagements as if nothing happened. After the Sussexes left the royal family behind, Meghan and Harry stayed in Vancouver for a short while. However, it became clear rather quickly that they would not catch a break across the pond. Short Shortly after relocating, Meghan was followed by a photographer while she was out at a park with Archie. Paparazzi reportedly surrounded the couple's home and tried to take pictures of them and Archie inside with long-range lenses. Even though Archie spent some of his childhood in the UK, King Charles has reportedly only seen him a few times. Lilibet, on the other hand, has only seen her grandfather once. Charles's relationship with Prince Harry might be fraught, but it's said that the monarch adores his youngest grandchildren and was delighted when Archie was born. Lilibet first got to meet her grandfather in person in 2022, when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attended some of Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. These days, however, Charles only gets to see his grandchildren over FaceTime. Royal commentator Michael Cole told the Daily Mail, The antipathy between Prince Harry and his wife Meghan and the royal family has created a deep divide that makes normal family relationships so fraught as to be almost impossible. He added that Harry's actions since he left the monarchy have only contributed to the family divide and, as a result, the divide his children now experience between them and their extended family in the UK. Cole also criticised the Sussexes for failing to baptise Lilibet in the UK when they visited for the Platinum Jubilee. Instead, the princess was baptised in the US with none of the royals present. Royal experts have many opinions on how Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet may or may not feel about their estrangement from the royal family when they're older. Former royal reporter Jenny Bond told OK that Archie and Lilibet will eventually be curious about their family history, and it might be a little jarring for them to realise what they could have been a part of. She said in the interview, When your heritage is one of the most famous families in the world, it will undoubtedly seem rather odd and perhaps sad that you hardly know or remember them. Princess Diana's tragic death continues to echo throughout the monarchy to this day, and ever since Prince Harry and Prince William welcomed children of their own, one can't help but imagine what a lovely grandmother Diana would have been. Archie and Lilibet will also grow up simply hearing stories about their late grandmother. In Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan, the couple noted that Diana is very much a part of their children's lives. A photograph of the late princess hung in the nursery at the time. That's your grandma Diana. Aside from barely seeing their grandfather King Charles, Archie and Lilibet also have no contact with their maternal grandfather, Thomas Markle. Meghan Markle's relationship with her father disintegrated completely after he staged photos for the paparazzi in the lead-up to Meghan and Harry's wedding and then failed to show up to escort Meghan down the aisle on the big day. After a personal letter sent to Thomas was leaked to the press, Meghan broke all contact with him. And yes, Meghan's father has admitted that he was the one who leaked the letter to the press. Archie and Lilibet have, as far as we know, never met Thomas Markle, and neither has Prince Harry. Thomas doesn't appear to understand why he's been denied meeting his grandchildren, telling Good Morning Britain that he was very upset about the whole affair. This is a cruel thing to do to a grandparent. 
He also accused Meghan of changing and exerting her influence on Harry. Thomas told the outlet that he wasn't planning on taking legal action to see Archie and Lilibet because he didn't want to involve them in so much drama. I don't want, I don't want to involve my grandchildren as pawns in a game. In addition to their grandfathers, Archie and Lilibet are also pretty much estranged from their cousins in the UK. Archie barely spent any time with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, and it's not clear whether Lilibet has ever met them. According to some reports, Prince Harry tries to stay in contact with his niece and nephews, with Charlotte apparently sending Harry and her cousins gifts from time to time. According to royal expert Tom Quinn, Meghan is worried about her children's non-existent relationship with their cousins. Quinn told The Mirror, Meghan loves the idea of having a big happy family Family and hates it when people describe her childhood and her family as dysfunctional. She's terrified history is going to repeat itself. He also claimed that one of Meghan's friends told him that the Duchess is concerned about her kids blaming her for their lack of a relationship with their cousins. Lilibet shares a very special bond with her late great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. Pundits will know that the Queen's childhood nickname had been Lilibet, and Prince Harry and Meghan's choice of name for their daughter was an ode to the monarch. Because Lilibet was born in the United States, she didn't get to meet her great-grandmother in person until about a year later when Harry and Meghan visited the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. A source told People that Harry and Meghan introduced the Queen to her new great-grandchild in a video call shortly after her birth. When the Queen finally got to meet her youngest great grandchild child in person during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, it made for a tender moment. Harry hinted at this first meeting in a statement he released after the Queen's death, saying that he would always treasure it, writing, I cherish these times shared with you, and the many other special moments in between. Thanks to the fact that their parents are insanely famous, Archie and Lilibet have been captured in several paparazzi shots. Poor Archie was just a baby when photographers first snapped photos of him with his mother, Meghan Markle. Archie's early childhood was fraught with eager paparazzi that went to incredible lengths to take photographs of him and his parents. Meghan and Prince Harry went into great detail about this horrifying time in their Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan. Paparazzi tried to film the couple and their baby son from helicopters and boats and followed them by car wherever they went. Some paparazzi even made holes in the security fence that surrounded the couple's Vancouver residence in order to spy on them. While Lilibet's childhood has arguably been a lot less dramatic. The little royal has also been snapped by the paparazzi. Prince Harry was out and about with Lilibet on his hip in Montecito, California, when eagle-eyed photographers spotted the prince and his daughter and snapped away. They just wanted to be free. They wanted to be free to love and be happy. King Charles III's coronation was a historic moment, but it's an event Archie and Lilibet missed out on, even though they were invited. Speculation was rife whether or not the king would even extend an invitation to his estranged son and his family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did indeed receive an invite, but only Harry accepted. The palace revealed this information in a statement saying that, while Harry would be in attendance at the coronation ceremony, Meghan would be staying behind in California with their two children. Royal commentator Victoria Murphy told ABC News, Meghan not coming can absolutely be interpreted as a sign that not all is resolved between the Sussexes and the royal family. There is kind of a partial endorsement from the Sussexes with Harry going. Charles's coronation coincided with Archie's fourth birthday. While this likely played a part in Meghan and Harry's decision to keep the children at home, co-host of the royally obsessed podcast Rachel Bowie told USA Today that Meghan probably forfeited the event out of concern for the media scrutiny that would surely have followed her and the children's visit. Bowie said, The royals can choose the coronation date, but Archie can't choose his birthday. From the parent perspective, which Meghan makes very clear, that's one of her key roles and the thing that she values most. That's something that she likely doesn't want to miss. No, I just want them to be happy.